Modern versions of Android let you put information on your lock screen in widgets. Unfortunately, if you want a lot of information, you have to have a lot of lock screens across a lot of panels. That kind of defeats the purpose. Or you can put them all into one, but there aren't that many widgets that let you do that. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now, and I've got another option. Just replace your lock screen with C lock screen and get it all in one. This is my Nexus 4, and when I turn it on, you'll notice I've got a new lock screen. This lock screen is showing me what time it is, what the day of the week is, the date, the time in 24 hour clock, because that's how I like it, even the weather, and it lets me control my music. It's also got this little lock down here that I can pick and drag to whatever I want, so I can quick launch any of this stuff, even the weather up here. Let's go ahead and just unlock it. That takes me to my home screen. From here you can see I've got a couple widgets installed. Now, these widgets are C widget, and they're kind of a companion to the C lock screen that you just saw there. Let's go ahead and lock again. We'll unlock and we're back here. We can come all the way around, launch our camera, our flashlight, YouTube, our default web browser, Google Maps, our mail client, uh, the dialer, and like I said, just unlock like that, jump right into you know whatever we want. Really kind of cool. Down here at the bottom, you can also see what our battery status is. That doubles as some extra real estate, so we can come down here and drag our lock on that and get to the lock screen settings. So on this screen, we can enable or disable the lock screen. This does not turn on and off your stock lock screen. If you want this to replace it, you have to go into your settings, come right over in here, and from settings, go to security and in security, change your screen lock to none. Now, I know that sounds kind of silly because, uh, hey, aren't we talking about this screen lock? Well, yes we are, but this screen lock is just a widget that takes that place. It's not the default built-in stock lock screen, and as such, it doesn't have a lot of the added security. Just something to keep in mind. We can go in and check the display. We can hide the status bar, which is what I've done. It does not come defaulted that way. You can also choose your home screen wallpaper, choose a picture from your gallery, or just mix some colors together. Show or hide missed calls, show or hide the media buttons. Go ahead and hide those for now. Those will show up when your music is playing, so if you want to have a cleaner play screen or a cleaner lock screen that doesn't have those play buttons and whatnot on it, except when there's music playing, you can do that too, relatively easy. Uh, show and hide the square blinking indicator on the lock screen, that gets kind of annoying after time in my opinion, so I'll turn it off. Show and hide the battery information, I like that there. And then enable or disable vibration when dragging the icon on the screen. So when you pick and drag over one of those hot spots, it will vibrate to let you know that you're there and you can do what you want with it. You can launch that just by letting go. You can change your clock settings, you can change your app shortcuts to whatever you want and quick revert back to default if you want to do that. If you've installed C Widget, you can also have lock screen weather right here. Now this is a free app, both widget and the lock screen. So it is paid for by ads that you'll see down on the bottom of your settings. I haven't seen them anywhere else, so it seems like a small price to pay. So as you can see now, I've got my system wallpaper on there. It's a little bit hard to read, but that's because I chose to have my system wallpaper on there. You could pick a different wallpaper to make it easier or even change the colors. C lock screen is available for free in the Google Play Store for Android version 4.0 and up. If you liked what you saw here, please give the video a thumbs up, and while you're at it, why not tell your friends about PocketNow on Facebook, Twitter, or even Google+. PocketNow, showing off cool apps. I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.